today we're going to have a look at uh, Matt Irvin's Marvellous Model Museum. And here's uh, just a little peep looking through the window, which all looks rather good. And in a mo, we're going to go inside and uh, Matt's going to show us uh, a Leonardo da Vinci model, which uh, he reckons is quite nice. So, in we go. Sound of traffic outside, and there is the entrance to Matt's museum. Let's go. OK, let's go and see if Matt's in his office. Here we go. Ah, good morning, Matt. Oh, hello there. And what have we got to see this morning? Well, it's another one of these Leonardo. Leonardo is the in person at the moment. We've got at least three manufacturers making models. Um, Academy in um, Korea, which is done by Teleri in, in, for Europe. Uh, Ravel, of course, with the wooden and authentic materials. And Doyusha in Japan, which aren't generally available here. These ones actually come from our, my old friends at Hobby Link Japan. We're a useful company there. Now, the interesting thing now, this is the what is generally called the aerial screw, which is everybody sort of calls a helicopter. There really isn't. Um, and it's a much simpler click kit than uh, the Ravel kit, which is far more sophisticated and I said in, in authentic materials. But this one does have rather an interesting feature. Note. Oh, very good. So it rotates and it folds itself back again by yep, the look of yep. it. Yep, yep, that's it. Do it once more. It goes where we go, up there, but even faster. And get to the top of it, it's uh, the built-in screw at the bottom there, and it'll all come back down again. Um, this is one of the things that, although the theory behind Leonardo was actually correct, it would never have worked uh, because of the power-to-weight ratio. You've got four guys there pushing this thing around. There's no way they could have actually pushed it fast enough to get the the propeller, the air screw, to actually go fast enough. But the theory is actually correct. And as I said, although it's a very simple kit, snap together kit, basically I've done a little bit more work on this, painted up the figures, but uh, it is quite fun. And what sort of scale is it? Well, we go by the size of the figures, really, and they are about, I would say, 30, 30 second scale. Right. So you could always stick a 30 second scale air figure's car next to it to give you some idea of a uh, scale, or for that matter, one of the uh, 30 second scale helicopter, um, which would be quite big, of course. But uh, that's quite interesting. It is all plastic. I've painted it up a bit, make it and the wooden surrounds, and this would have been linen, of course. The only different part you get here, of course, this is actual cord or string. And do they supply that? Uh, oh yeah, no, they come, this is absolutely yeah. complete as it is, and you get this uh, booklet here which tells you all about it. All right, well. excellent. What's that like inside? Let's put the safely down, and we've got um, some Japanese, uh, in fact a lot of Japanese, it goes through a lot of the things, there's the, the infamous tank. Um, oh, right, and it's the, all in like a faux with... parchment finish, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I noticed all of the manufacturers are doing this, is that if it's um, Leonardo Renaissance time, it must be in a, f in a parchment light. Let's, uh, let's stain the papers so they look um, correct. And even here they've even given the idea of helicopter blades, which of course is, is more or less what it would have been like. Um, probably Leonardo just didn't have the technology available. It had the brain, but not the technology. Right. Oh, and here are the parts. There are the parts laid yeah. out. You can see it's very, very simple. All right, so it's a combination, what, of, of parchment, of wood, of plastic, or...? No, it's all plastic. It is it's all, all plastic, plastic so apart, apart from the actual string, which is string. Right. Uh, the blades here, which would, of course, be parchment, and if you look at the Ravel kit of the same subject, are done in a linen, um, and this, of course, would have been wood. Plastic really wasn't around in Leonardo's time, uh, and in the Ravel kit, that is, it is done in wood, pre-cut ply. Um, but it is still quite fun. Yeah, brilliant. And here you can see there's the... How to operate it if there's any doubt. There's not really many other ways it would work. But uh... All right, and that is from Doyusha, which is a Japanese Doyusha. company. Doyusha is one of the small Japanese companies. They uh, do a lot of rather interesting material as uh, such. They're not widely available in the West, as it were. But as I said, um, Hobby Link Japan, um, hlj.com, uh, uh, will help you out. There are Americans who actually live in Japan, so uh, they haven't got to worry about language. I'm oh. trying to be Japanese, right. of course. Well, that, looks speak a, Japanese. that looks a really good kit. Thanks very much, Matt, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again. Until next time.